Welcome to the speaking section of IELTS examination. My name is Apna Namija and today I would be your examiner for this part of the test. And this test would be recorded. What is your full name? My full name is Karan Veer Singh Bhatti. You can call me by my first name, Karan. May I see your identification please? Yes, this is my passport that I used for registration. Please take a look. Thank you, Karan. Where do you come from? I come from a small town, Tohana. It is situated in northern part of India near the border of Punjab and Haryana. Do you like this place? Yes, I like this place because I have uh, grown up here and made memories with my friends. Okay. Can you define your town? Uh, my town is uh, like other small towns with some basic facilities that are required for survival and I have completed my education here. Are you a student or a working person? Uh, currently, I am a student. I have completed my 12th class from DAV Secondary School and now I am uh, preparing for my higher education in abroad. Okay. Few questions will be based on visitors. Do you often invite friends to visit your home? Yeah, I'm for, yes, I am fond of inviting friends to my home. Uh, every weekend I invite my friends and we play games together on our console. Okay. Do you like visitors coming to your home? Yes, I like visitors coming to my home because uh, most of the time I kept, keep myself alone so they gave me a company and I like to talk with them. Mm -hmm. Do people often visit you at your home or you go at their place? Well, uh, most of the time people visit to my home because I don't like being going outside. I am an introvert and uh, I have lots of work at my home so I uh, prefer to invite friends at my home. Mm -hmm. What do you usually do together with your visitors? We discuss about our studies or new ideas and also we play games together. Mm -hmm. Okay. Few questions will be based on art. Do you like art? I am attracted to art since uh, my childhood and I have learned some art forms like origami and sketching. Okay. Do you think art classes are necessary? Definitely art classes are necessary for the development of a development of children's brain because they create uh, uh, the ability of uh, no, uh, imagination among them and they can express their feelings and ideas clearly. Mm -hmm. How do you think art classes affect children children's development? There are a lot of factors that uh, there are a lot of things that are uh, developed through art. Children uh, learn to imagine, express their ideas through colors. La, uh, colors, drawings and other abstract mm -hmm. concepts. What can you learn from western paintings? Well, uh, one thing that I have noticed about western paintings that they, they, they are always inspired from nature and they, also, they uh, uh, express abstract contracts, uh, concepts very clearly in their art with the magnificent use of colors and strokes. Okay, a few questions will be based on books. How often do you read? I am a bibliophile and read books daily, about 50 to 70 pages. Mm -hmm. Do you have many books at your home? Well, I have started the hobby of reading books recently, so I have only 7 to 8 books now. What type of books you like to read? I like to read science fiction, novels and uh, biographies. Mm -hmm. Do Indian people like to read? Well, uh, Indian people like to mostly prefer to uh, mostly prefer to read uh, religious books because India in India religion is a very uh, uh, preferred preferred thing. So uh, apart from that, students also prefer to read books according to their uh, curricular and uh, subjects. Okay, can story books be an ideal gift for children? Well, uh, they are one of the best gifts for children because children are being imaginative and curious about learning new things and stories can create uh, imagination in them and they learn morals from them. Okay. Thank you Karan. This is the end of the part one and now you will have to speak over the cue card. This is a question card okay. and you will be given two minutes. You will be given, sorry, one minute to prepare and have to speak two minutes and you can use this paper and pencil to make notes. Okay. I'm giving you one minute to plan your answer. Karan, you may start now. Well, gifts are one of the, those things which I consider as a gesture of love and affection towards someone. Uh, it gives a sense of being special to, uh, uh, to the receiver. Here, I would like to talk about a gift that I would like to uh, buy for my friend. 
uh, actually my friend is a bibliophile and it is a the gift is a novel in, written by uh, youth writer Sumrit Shahi its name is never kiss your best friend actually she is fond of uh, reading and collecting different genres of literature in fact uh, we become friends by share through books we used to share e books with each other and discuss tales of different stories and uh, as her birthday is coming so i thought that i would i should uh, make it special through a gift the reason being i uh, choose that gift is when i read that novel at some of the points i found that the story of th that two friends the protagonist resembles to the story of our friendship and i immediately decided to give that book to my friend and uh, <coughs> Uh, apart from that, I have uh, I also learned how to pack a uh, pack with special technique to make it more attractive. And I have uh, enca encased two of my uh, bookmarks that I made with my hand to uh, make it more attractive. And uh, I am uh, it titillates me every every time when I think about the situation when she will open the book and uh, will be surprised to see a novel of one of our different, uh, one of our favorite zoners and I hope she will like that gift. Thank you Karan. This is time to ask some follow up questions. What is the importance of gifts? Well, to me, uh, gifts are very important for any relation because uh, uh, apart from materialistic, there is a intangible element related to the gifts that is, uh, that is love and affection which resides in the gift until uh, the person keep that gift to itself. Mm -hmm. Is there any pressure on us to buy presents? Well, there can be sometimes a pressure on uh, ourselves to buy gifts because uh, we, if we care about uh, someone special and uh, we, uh, we, we have a pressure of uh, expectations and the price of the gift. Mm -hmm. Do Indian people often give gifts? Indian people like to gift gifts in different forms. For example, uh, money is the most famous gift uh, uh, which is given in all parts of the country. And apart from that, on various occasions like marriages and birthday parties, gifts are uh, the oftenly given. Why money? As you said that money is given. Uh, I, I also don't know the reason behind this because uh, as uh, since I have grown up, uh, since my childhood, I have seen my relatives and friends giving money to each other as gifts. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's the value of giving presents? Uh, there is a great value be, uh, uh, behind giving presents. It uh, creates a, a bond, uh, it fosters the bond between two persons and it, uh, it helps us to uh, know each other more. What kind of gifts are suitable for friends to give each other? Well, it, it, can, it depends on the uh, interests of our friends. Uh, everyone has its own tastes and preferences. So uh, we can't decide uh, just by uh, looking at the, uh, just uh, without, we can't guess, uh, we can't guess gifts on uh, mere uh, suggestions. We have to know the taste of the person to gift. When do people normally send gift to others? There can be many occasions to send gifts. For example, if someone is uh, someone someone has its birthday, or someone is uh, uh, in in memory of someone, or if someone is missing someone, then they can send gifts to each other. Okay. Is it hard to choose a gift according to you? No, I don't think that. If I know the person properly, it is not hard for me to choose the gift. Why? Because I know the interests of that person and I know the what can person expect as a gift. So I can uh, predict what gift I should give him as a best. Mm -hmm. Will people feel happy when receiving an expensive gift? Well, it is not being about expensive or uh, cheap when we are gifting. It should be according to the interest of a the person. Then it doesn't matter whether it is, whether it is of uh, low value or high value. It, uh, I think it's a uh, gift contains emotions and uh, uh, emotions and expressions of ourselves m m more than the material of that gift. What do you prefer, giving an expensive gifts or economic gifts? Well, I prefer economic gifts. Uh, specifically, I prefer to give gifts made by my hand. Recently, I gifted some bookmarks that I made myself to my friend. Okay. Thank you, Karan. This is the end of the party. Now I would like to give the feedback, how he spoke and how he attained 
first of all i would like to talk about his fluency he was very much fluent throughout his speaking with occasional repetition and self correction and his parents was quite good enough he was binding his ideas adequately and properly moreover in case of lexical resources he used some idiomatic sentences and he used good vocabulary words and he used good grammar structure as well in case of grammar and accuracy he was good at giving ideas in different sentences compound complex active and passive sentences and in case of accuracy he was good enough for criteria is pronunciation he was doing correctly that part there was no error in that his pronunciation was good enough that is why he was able to get 7.5 in case of confidence he needed to be more confident while speaking this was the only thing that which he missed somehow otherwise in four criteria he did well that is why he was able to manage such a good score thank you